to the piano house. Come on in, let's take a tour. Okay, so we have our entryway right here that enters right into our piano room. Our first piano room, actually. Here's our Weber Grand Piano that we inherited from Kyle's family. And we feel super lucky because this is what we teach the majority of our lessons on. For virtual lessons, this is what we use. So we just pull it out and then it's just really easy to put away. All the spooky corner just because it's Halloween right now. So got some cool decorations and then our vinyl um, storage is right here. So we usually switch the record out pretty much every day. <laughs> And I like to have the records match the decor, so that's kind of a weird thing, but quite a few of our records match, so I don't know. It keeps the variety. Here's our album case, and this is where we keep all of our sheet music for our students, as well as some of our favorite books throughout our studies. So, And then we also have right here a cart that we use to organize all of our chords just for like recording processes and whatnot. But then we keep the top part decorated to make it look less cluttered. So there's a little hack for you. Our dining room area. Someday we'll have a bigger table and someday I'll install the chandelier I bought. So you'll see that in some future videos. Because it's super cool and I love it. Our kitchen that just loops all around and we have brand new appliances as well as a super awesome gas burning stove that I've never lived in a place where I've cooked on gas, so that's kind of fun. And then it also comes with a griddle. We have the boys, they get to play video games. Me and the boys up at 2 a.m. looking for me. <laughs> they weird. <laughs> and 64! Yeah. And laundry room and a lot of people don't know this but they created these units that are washers and dryers so we were able to just buy one unit that does both and it really does a good job so as long as you don't over fill your loads so we love it and it's something that I would recommend here's bathroom number one Keep walking and here is piano room number two slash the best room in the house that we were able to just like put all of our Beatles paraphernalia up and you can examine all of it. So here we have a bunch of sheet music for our students in binders as well as like music theory topics, worksheets, our printing station, a fun mandala for the students to sit on. Um, we have, you know, the double piano, just to practice for those, you know, party band gigs. And then three keyboards for our group lessons that we will start doing in here. If you're so lucky that you get to be a guest in this house, here's where you will sleep. So right now it's just an air mattress <laughs> and it looks cute. So I think I did a pretty good job for being just a first-time homeowner. <laughs> One day we'll have a real bed though, okay? Here's our master suite. So we have a black and white theme with a couple pops of color. And our closets don't have doors, which we'll eventually have to install some like barn doors across here, but that will be a little bit later. We have to first get grass. <laughs> okay, here is our gallery wall, as well as some additional um, clothing storage. Okay, and my favorite room the house, which is pretty much the whole reason why we bought this house, is the bathroom. And you can come in. We have this amazing bathtub, and I like to leave books here or my iPad and just like watch movies in the tub. And I feel super lucky about that. And then it's still a stand-in shower. As well as a little separate room for the loo. Buddy. Thanks.
Thanks for joining us.